Today's video is going to be all about summer essentials. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how to style your summer essentials and take them from a basic and boring to banging and bougie. <laughs> My name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love hauls, lookbooks, vlogs, sis, you found your tribe. All you have to do now is subscribe. Sometimes just adding an additional piece can make all the difference. If you've been looking for ideas for styling pieces you already own, this video is for you. Keep on watching. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end so you don't miss any gems. So we're gonna be styling four basics. They are as follows. A white tank, a summer must have. White jeans, another summer essential. Shorts and a summer dress. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with this white tank. My favorite one comes from Target and I always recommend that you buy multiples of your summer essentials. I have about three or four of these white tanks. I not only have this tank in white, I also have in a plethora of colors just because I feel like the high neck really kind of works for my shape. So I decided to pair the white tanks with some shorts. This is a very quintessentially summer look. This is the kind of look I would wear to run errands on the weekend. To kind of take this look up a notch, I decided I would layer on some necklaces just to add a little bit of, you know, je ne sais quoi, something to the look, right? And then finish things off with a light layer in the form of this oversized white shirt. Oversized white shirts are a must have during the spring and summertime. If you don't have one, sis, run don't walk I will link some of my favorites down in the description box I actually have a couple I have like two more in my current cart right now because I wore my oversized white shirts to death I would wear them as a layer on top of my outfits I would wear them as cover-ups some of them I actually wear as dresses so you can do a lot with this so if you don't have one get one now 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 for the next look with this white tank i decided to pair the look with a bias cut maxi skirt i actually have this maxi skirt in two other colors because i really feel like this style and cut is super flattering now to finish off the look i'm gonna throw on it and a pair of slides you can keep this looks just like it is right now it looks pretty good to me however i feel like you know the look is it needs something. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap out those slides for these gold platforms. So what I really like about the platforms is that the gold in the platforms tie into the gold accents in the bags. And something about the metallic really helps to elevate this look. I would totally wear this look to brunch. I feel like the other look I would probably just wear to run to like Target or something because of the additional height that I got from the platform and the addition of the gold. I really feel like it does a good job elevating the look. So let me know your thoughts, right? Do you prefer the original look? or do you prefer the updated look. So next essential we're going to be styling is going to be the summer dress. This is another must have an essential for the season. I love wearing dresses in the summer because they're flirty, they're girly, they're perfect for like brunches and bridal showers and date night etc etc right. And I always look out for dresses that are easy for me to dress up from day to night. And one of the things that I love to do with my flirty and frilly summer dresses is to juxtapose and pair them with things that are a little bit more masculine a little bit more grungy kind of tough during the winter I would totally pair a summer dress with combat boots but it's too hot for that so we're gonna opt for some dad sandals they don't have to be dance sandals you could go for something just a little bit more grungy and and kind of tough I have a pair of Doc Martin sandals that I picked up last year that's another example of a tough looking shoe that you can use to kind of add a little bit of interest to your more frilly dresses and to to finish off the look let's not forget a bag and voila you have a look now again this look is perfectly fine just as it is but I feel like we can tweak it slightly to make it even better what do you think I agree so I went ahead and threw on this straw hat I always get questions about like how to you know accessorize and dress up an outfit during the summer because it's hot you know it may just be the weather may just be too hot for you to do any kind of layering for you to add a third piece well never forget a hat 
pieces, a hat will do that for you. If you have an arsenal of like straw fedoras, baseball caps, not only do they add some interest to your outfit, but they also help to protect your scalp from the sun. So I've had this hat for years. They bring it back every single year. It's kind of like a cult favorite. So I'm going to link it down below. And what I like about this hat is that it comes in sizes. So if you have a bigger head and you struggle with finding hats in your head size, I promise you, you will find one in your head size. Well, I hope so. I'm wearing this hat here in a size extra large and it goes up to a size 2XL. And I will link it for you in the description box down below. So let me know, which look do you prefer? The before look or the after look? Did the hat make me look better? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, remember when I said I love to go for summer dresses I can pair that I can dress up or dress down and take from day to night? Here is the perfect example. We're gonna ditch our sandals and then we're gonna opt for a pair of heels. I'm personally partial to mules because they don't have any buckles, they don't have any ties. You just slide your feet in and go. And then I opted for a pouch bag and I really love these pouch bags because they can fit everything, okay? everything right from your your slides to your makeup your phone your everything else. a whole change of clothes if you need you can fit into these pouch bags um, that's why I always offer them because I feel like I can fit all my crap in there so this outfit is pretty good on its own I, I think so anyway but I'm thinking like I think we can make this look better we, I think we, we can make this look better and so how are we gonna make it better I think we could swap out these mules for something a little bit more fun right what do you guys think yep I agree I agree too. All right, so I decided to swap out my mules for a pop of color. Don't forget you can have fun with your footwear, with your bag. Once you have a nice collection of like neutral color accessories, don't be afraid to invest in some color because just the addition of that pop of color can really take your outfit from boring, okay, to banging. All right, all right, so what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? Do you prefer the look before or do you prefer the look after? Let me know in the comments down below. So now on to shorts. Okay, shorts are already a quintessential staple for the summer season. They are a must have. So how many ways can you style a pair of shorts? I should make a video on that, like maybe 10 ways that I style shorts. Anyways, I digress. So I have these brown paper bag shorts, which I believe I featured in my how to find the pair, perfect pair of shorts video. If you haven't seen that video and you're struggling with finding shorts that fit your curves, sis, that video is a must, must watch. Okay, I will be sure to link it for you in the description box below. I, fingers crossed that I remember. So with these shorts, I decided to go for this tan color top. The shorts are brown, the shirt is brown, kind of like a monochrome look. You can't go wrong with that. And continuing on with like my tan and brown family, I finished off the look with some brown nude sides. This is a super easy outfit that you can wear to brunch, you can wear to run errands. I love the fact that the shorts are tailored so it really helps to elevate the look. You totally catch me in this outfit. but. On the days where I feel like adding a little sauce, you know, to my look, I feel like this outfit could be better. So I'm thinking we're gonna ditch the brown or cream colored shirt because it's cute and I'm, 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 I'm digging the ombre look, but I think we can have a little bit of fun by adding a print. That's where this shirt comes in. So as soon as I saw this shirt, it was an instant add to cart. It was giving me 70s vibes. I loved how billowy the sleeves were. It's a brown color, but even though the colors are kind of muted, I loved how billowy the sleeves were. I loved the print on it, the pops of orange, and I really think it helps to bring out the orange in the brown of these shorts. Now, I typically don't go sh for shirts like this that are super billowy around the chest because, you know, when you have a fuller chest, these type of tops tend to emphasize that. But how I was able to combat with this top was that I opened up some of the buttons to help create that deep V and elongate the neck. Okay, that was one of the tips I shared in my big bust styling video. So if you haven't seen that video, sis, make sure to check it out, especially if you have a bigger bust and a fuller bust, all right? I'm really digging this shirt and how it just added a little bit of something to the look. I personally took it, think that it really took this look from the original look from basic to, you know, dang it. 
I think so. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you prefer the original look or do you prefer updated look? If you're enjoying the video so far, sis, hit that like button. Also, this is a great time to share the video. Not only does it pay it forward, but you may know someone who's been searching for this video. So the next basic we're styling are white jeans. So we're gonna start off styling these white jeans with my tan t-shirt. I think we're gonna go for these clear sandals, my cream colored crossbody bag to kind of keep things all in the same color family. And this is like a super easy look that I would wear again to run errands, to have a casual meal, etc. Etc. Although there's absolutely nothing wrong with this outfit, I would totally wear this look. I feel like we can make it better. I think we can make it better. So instead of our tan t-shirt, let's have a little fun. Let's add a little texture with this H&M mesh sweater. What I really like about this sweater is that it has holes all over it. So you can pretty much wear it now up until I would say mid to late June. I felt like the other look was very porno, very bland. And the addition of this texture to the look, you know, does something. What do you think? Let me know. So let me know in the comments below which look you like better the original look or the updated look so we're gonna ditch the sweater okay so if you're wondering about like how you can wear white jeans there we go the lightweight chiffon shirt this is actually the top from a two-piece that I picked up last year from pretty little thing it's super lightweight like it's almost non-existent so if you're wondering about how you can layer in the summertime chiffon tops are your best friend especially if you're someone who is new to wearing crop top isn't quite comfortable showing maybe all of your belly or maybe even your arms this is a look that always works and it just makes your outfit look like you thought about it but really all you did all you did was added a shirt that's it. And again, what I like about this shirt is that when you get to the beach, you can totally ditch the rest of your outfit and that shirt would act as a really cute cover up that you can pair with your bathing suit. So let me know your thoughts with this look. Do you like the before look or do you like the after look? Let me know in the comments down below. So this is just a fraction of the summer essentials and basics that you will need. I actually have a summer wardrobe checklist. There will be a link in the description down below. All you have to do is sign up for our newsletter and you will get an email from us with a link that you can download the checklist, right? I know I've made at least one video where I talk about just about summer essentials so if you're interested in more summer essential talk i will also link that video for you in the description down below and if you're curious about this gorgeous pink overshirt that i have on or this tank top i always link all of my outfits in the description box of this video it's going to be under the shop my outfits link and that's going to take you over to my ltk if you're wondering what ltk is it's basically an app where i link all the items that I feature all the stuff that I have my eye on that I'm looking to buy I not only link my fashion stuff I also link my beauty stuff so my favorite foundations lip gloss I link everything on that app while you're there just go ahead and just download the app and follow your girl okay I promise you you won't regret it if you enjoyed this video just like this all you have to do is subscribe now check out this video in this video, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.